Next, I invite Wade Troutman, the District Operations and Membership Services Committee Chair and Pacific Region Representative to the Executive Board to recognize the states who have completed the District Officials Training Program. Keep talking and it will come on. How about that? Uh, thank you, Kim, and, and uh, good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> the district official training program helps district officials become better acquainted in their roles and responsibilities as local conservation district board members. The district official training, by statute, is the responsibility of the state conservation agencies but it can also be provided by other partners. The following states facilitate a district official training program that meets at least 50% of the minimum knowledge requirements identified by NACD and the National Association of State Conservation Agencies. So, being recognized for the first time as having an approved district official training program is Idaho. Also being recognized for the first time is South Carolina. Congratulations. Uh, fun stuff, and it has to be done. Uh, and so we also being recognized for having an approved district official training program that's been in progress for several years. Uh, we're going to list the following states. Alabama. <laughs> Arkansas. Colorado. <laughs> Delaware. Illinois. Indiana. Kansas. Kentucky.
Louisiana. Massachusetts. Michigan. Mississippi. Missouri. Nebraska. Nevada. New Mexico. North Carolina. North Dakota. Ohio. South Dakota. Texas. Utah. Virginia. West Virginia. Wyoming. <laughs> Not represented today were Montana and Pennsylvania. Let's give all these states a hand for their commitment. <laughs> You know, 
the training program, it's not fun. It's kind of boring. It's not sexy. It's absolutely essential. And uh, if your state or territory, when you saw the map up there, was still in the gray, and you would like to get started, you can contact uh, Phyllis. Phyllis, you're still around here somewhere? Raise your hand. Oh, back over there. And uh, she can help. Phyllis Vanderveer, can, she can help you develop a professional training program for your district officials. Now I'd like to thank another special group for their support, and that's the Friends of NACD. Friends of NACD are individuals who show their support for conservation and NACD's work nationwide by making personal donations. We offer Friends of NACD membership levels to accommodate any budget. Each membership level comes with different gifts and levels of recognition. It is easy to sign up. Just head over to the Friends of NACD booth in the Conservation Expo, or stop by the registration desk, or see Phyllis or myself, and we'll be glad to take your money. We would like to give a special thank you to the lifetime Friends of NACD. If you look in your program, it's on page 18 and 19 of your program agenda. Each lifetime member receives a one-of-a-kind handcrafted lapel pin, which is pictured, I get, yeah, you got it up. It's behind me. You too can have one of these lovely pins by becoming a lifetime friend of NACD. So thank you again to all the friends and lifetime friends of NACD. Let's give them a round of applause. You out in the hallway when you're going out there and meeting people, you look for that pin. That's a special person. Give them an extra thank you for me. Uh, and last, I, I want to just touch on the Hall of Distinction. I hope you've all heard about that. That's been a new program that we've introduced. This is a virtual Hall of Fame. It recognizes past leaders of NACD who have made significant contributions to NACD and the conservation movement on a national scale. We encourage every state and territory association to submit their outstanding past leaders for induction into this honorary group. Details on how to do this can be found on NACD website. Thank you.